One of the biggest dangers on the road is a driver who is distracted, and the problem is not just someone on their phone. News Channel reporter John Palmentary is live, and John, this month law enforcement agencies are cracking down even harder on drivers who are putting others at risk. And we see it all the time on surface streets and out here on Highway 101, drivers that just are not changing their habits if they're a distracted driver. And law enforcement agencies around here are cracking down this month in a special enforcement. What drivers do behind the wheel of a vehicle, other than focusing on what's in front of them, is still one of the biggest hazards everyone on our roadways face. Like, I wish it was surprising to me, but it's just not. This is Distracted Drivers Awareness Month. The number of offenders is still dangerously high, and traffic officers are cracking down. CHP officer Mike Fabila says he has heard it all when it comes to excuses, especially from cell phone users. Oh, someone just called me real quick. Yeah. Oh, I just had to see this real quick. You know, it's, yeah, it's real quick, but that real quick is what can cause the accident. On Highway 101, with so much construction going on, looking down for a few seconds can have a tragic ending. People are slowing down a lot more abruptly, and you're not getting that reaction time. That small glance going 65 miles an hour is going to take you about a quarter, almost like a quarter mile. There are many kinds of distractions besides your cell phone. It could be something you're looking at visually or something you just can't get out of your mind. Even your radio, your air conditioner, um, the sandwich that you just dropped that you're eating, you know, all of it's a distraction. One driver brings her dog, Jack, along, but says he's well behaved. And like many drivers now, her phone is in a special mount. I have a magnet, sticks it to my dashboard, so I try not to touch it. It's still a distraction, I'll admit, but it's better than having it right in my face. Yeah. yeah. Of all the distracted drivers, the younger ones are caught the most often. Usually it's within the, the teen driving age, uh, 18 to about 20, 20 something year old uh, is the higher end. It's a lot of the times their lives are on their phones. And when it comes to a solution. I had a couple scares and I was like, you know what? I just gotta, I gotta put this thing down. So I started voice typing. Now, many people sometimes plead for some kind of forgiveness or please give me a warning or I have this excuse. But the CHP says, especially this month and usually now in their normal patrols, if someone's on a cell phone, they should know, being a licensed driver in the state of California, that you cannot use your phone or handle it when you're driving. It has to be hands-free. That is the law. Reporting live along Highway 101 in Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. All right, John, thank you for that. Three men are now in custody. In